there, it's Ina here and yes this will be the promised tour of my new art room so come on in. I think I'll give you a quick overview and then show you some of the details. Uh, I moved into this room about two months ago but it took me a little while to get organized as we also were working on a remodeling project in the house but I think finally it's done at least for now. When my adult daughter moved out I was able to take over this little bedroom and it's definitely an improvement to my last space which was just a corner in our den so it didn't have a proper door it just had a curtain it was rather small had a lot of traffic so this is definitely an upgrade I have a nice closet for extra storage and of course I have a proper door yay <laughs> so let me step back and show you this is a basement room so it has a heating duct up there but it does give me extra room to hang things especially for things which need to dangle like these this comes in handy okay let's start on this wall here I do keep an extra folding chair for visitors and behind it is just a real large canvas I'm working on right now there's this big box which is easily removable. It's very light even though it looks really big. It's lightweight that's why I kept it. I covered it in craft paper for now because it was a banged up shipping box and it stores some of my fabric and some of my leftovers from my craft fair and yes eventually I want to decorate it some more. It's great it has handles and a closure so yeah it was worth keeping. <laughs> Here in the corner I have a small table with my printer, printing paper. Down under are some printed, not printed, sorry, painted mirrors. There are some more of my canvases in a little basket. I'm trying to sell these things at craft fairs. Hmm? Slow going. It's not easy to sell art when you're not famous. <laughs> craft items go easier, but actual canvases is tricky. So anyway, here I added two shelves just recently and made sure the top shelf aligned with my big shelf in the corner there. So I have a nice long landing here. There's a pretty candlestick and this holds my smaller canvases. Some are paintings, some are mixed media projects. They're on little easels or little stands. And so in between I add a little decoration there's my wall clock, there are some flowers, some driftwood, I have some pretty rocks and crystals, some seashells and some corals, those are from Brazil, and some pretty painted rocks. And the next shelf I keep my wireless speaker for listening to music and some of my smaller art projects as well as some keepsakes, just little things I like to hang on to, most are gifts from friends and families, you know those little doodads which are just fun to keep and collect. So there go there and let me step back. Right under here I have a very simple set of plastic drawers, very inexpensive. Actually everything in this room is kind of a mixed match of items they were not particularly bought to be in an art room but it all kind of works out. To make these drawers a little more sturdy I added a piece of plywood on top it gives me another shelf or a little side table. These boxes are just to help me organize little embellishments and things like this. I do not gonna go into all the drawers all the bins and everything as it's like everybody, lots of craft supplies from everything you can imagine. Envelopes and cards and embellishments and ribbons and lace and you name it. So then over here I have a little calendar. I do keep dates just in case I have a hop or an, another appointment I need to publish my videos on time. But that's about the extent of my record keeping. I'm not big on diaries for you know stats and schedules and all that. So here is my big old bookshelf. It's an old oldie goldie but very sturdy and I added all these bins in different sizes. Those are just from the dollar store 
and they help me get organized and again it holds everything from stamps to extra brushes and my little tools and you know washi tape and gel pens and ribbons and you name it crocodile I'm not again showing you every detail lots of papers and down there I keep the materials oops the mediums which come in containers like pastels and watercolors and those kind of things I keep a bunch of paper plates because I like to use them for uh, put my paint on and all that and let's see what else there are a few more little keepsakes right there I keep my canvases down there on the bottom because my desk is an old computer desk it has this empty space down there and it works really well let's see if the window doesn't give me too much of a glare just needs to adjust a little yes I have a view to the backyard we still have a little snow not too much and I hang up little things I made just some extra decoration I utilize the window seal as well my brushes some feathers some nice German beer mugs there <laughs> and let's see what else we have on the window if I move over here on this side I keep alcohol and water and alcohol spray hairspray salt those kind of things and then I just recently added this little basket it's meant to go in the kitchen oops there you go it's, sorry it's a little bright on the window there's my cute little snow owl and I had a big bag of these artificial flowers and leaves and I thought in here they could be easily um, you know reachable but also serve as a decoration at the same time so let me step back and show you my desk whoops all right all right there it is oh sorry the top is really bright from the sun anyway as you can see it's an old computer desk and it's very sturdy which I really like and it already came with this top black shelf which is really handy but the table itself was rather narrow because it was meant for a computer so I just recently added this piece of plywood and it gave me a whole nine inches extra to work in and that is just really nice I really enjoy that and as you can see I added those drawers on both sides little skinny plastic drawers and they hold everything from stencils to magazine cutouts and those kind of things I have my jelly plate here I have extra art paper paper cutter and on the other side again more drawers again it holds kind of the same things there's some napkins in there too and here are my, it's my craft paper just one box baby wipes very important so here I keep my water on a little tray as I tend to make messes and my old mixed-media brushes they're kind of messy but they work my good ones I keep over there on the windowsill so then we have my glue upside down helps it to be available easily and this is actually a tray you would usually keep in the kitchen for utensils but it works great for all my sprays uh, glimmer mist and homemade sprays and little special type of paints and on this side I keep my ink pads now I don't particularly buy just one brand so they're all different sizes don't stack very well and this is a great solution it keeps them organized handy and they stay closed real tight so they don't dry out so that works let's see what else down there I have a container of magazines all right then let's keep going on this desk uh, even before in my old room my son had made this shelf for me so I could keep these trays in here these are from Ikea I don't know what they were originally intended for but they are perfect to organize my craft paints here I organized them by metallic and by glimmers uh, not glimmers glitters <laughs> but the rest is mostly by color green and turquoise brown and orange yellow red and so on it helps me to see what I need when I need it and I have a few extra little things like glossy accent and liquid pearls in there these are just trays for everything under the sun small things I'm working on or I want to keep handy 
and since I extended my desk I have more room and I keep these handy that's just glue and gel medium and modeling paste and black gesso some of my dilution paints again more little containers for little things here is my idea book and my address book or other information I need to keep about my channel glass is very important and all the pens I need all the time I want to keep handy usually I just work with these two clip-on lamps and that gives me enough light it works well now just recently I got a new camera and I needed a new setup to attach it so my handyman added this piece it's rather high but I had to have it way up there and it's just a piece of pipe it's attached like that as you can see and it holds the top of a tripod and here goes my camera and it zooms in nicely to my desk and yeah it works well and everything is bolted down so nothing moves it's all very sturdy and here on the top shelf I keep bigger containers of paint my gesso and my Mod Podge bigger bottles of paint again and some more mediums so I think that's my desk okay underneath the desk not much just some extra plugs I keep a container of pieces of fabric I use them for cleanup always my ink pads my hair dryer kind of lifts on the floor usually alright let's go over here this was a project I did with another youtuber and here is my big closet and that's really cool for extra storage I keep more magazines, a little briefcase with personal things, huge old dictionary. I still don't know what to do with it. It's over 100 years old. I hate to cut into it and yeah, I'm waiting for a good idea of what to do with it. Big container of all my supplies for candle making. And on this shelf I keep big things which are just too big for drawers, envelopes and file folders. But also projects who are waiting to be worked on. I put them in little piles when I get ideas. So these are all things I need to work on. There are some books I like to alter. There are some wooden things like frames and mirrors I want to work on. It's just my camera case. And little bags for little extras here and there. And let's see on the other side my apron, another bag. And then I just did this. This a rod of course came with a cupboard but I wanted to display all the lovely art I receive in happy mails or as part of uh, collaborations and so I took little twisty ties and I made rings really and then I use little craft clothespins to attach them and it works really well they move about easily you can easily put some who are in the back to the front you can exchange them easily so I really like it and thank you so much to everyone who sent me this lovely art. I really appreciate it. And there's lots of room for more. Hey. <laughs> so then comes my, the rest of my closet. Oops, let me step back. This is an old changing table from my little granddaughter. I altered it a little bit and it fit perfectly next to this old table for my sewing machine. And here's my sewing machine. And it's connected so for small project like sewing paper I can stay right there and if I have something bigger I need to do I can put it on the table. Here are all my napkins and different drawers for more little <laughs> doodads. My doilies. Here in the corner I have the bottom of my tripod and a table easel and my big easel lives way underneath in the bottom just in case I need it I don't use it too often. Here I have all my metal uh, embellishments, my sewing kit, tablecloth, big papers, my wood burning tools, just odds and ends. My big bag I made, I take to art classes, lives down there as well. And here is the big bin, again with big things, paper rolls, bubble wrap, things that don't fit so well in a cupboard. And there's more there, wrapping paper, big folder for some big stencils I have. There's my fancy paper roll holder. <laughs> and let's go over here. I think this is the last wall. 
Okay, I have a nice comfortable chair. I just moved it back in space. And over here, just a few decorations, a little mirror. Hi there! And then I have some little decorations here. I made from those German die cuts I like. There's some flower and little girl image, and there is a bird one. And here on this bookshelf, as you can see, it's just a small narrow bookshelf who happens to um, fit just on that little space of wall. I keep some journals. There my, there's my oval journal. This has my circular one in it. And then these are all art journals. Some are already completed. Some I'm working on right now. There are more down here as well as keepsake journals and specialty journals and some books on the bottom. So let's see. I think that's pretty much it. I have a comfortable chair. And yeah, I spend a lot of time in this chair <laughs> and in this room. I hope you enjoyed this little tour. It isn't a super big room, but especially if I move this box, I can add a folding table and extra chairs. So if my friends come over, we can craft in here. So this is my little realm. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching any of my art and craft videos. It gives me a lot of joy to hear from you and I will be back with more process videos. Actually right now I'm getting used to my new camera which is giving me a little trouble. So it might uh, take a little bit because I want my videos to look good and not all choppy and <laughs> difficult to watch. But I'll be back, I promise. Alright, thank you so much for coming. Um, see you really soon again. Bye bye for now.